Hey, pleasure and good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borey. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video if you enjoy the content. If you enjoy the NFL, check out the videos I did on the hirings of the two coaches today if you enjoy football as well. That will be linked at the end of this video. But let's get into this one. This video is going to be on Tuka Rask having two up and two down games uh, in his games this far with the Boston Bruins after they smartly brought him back for one million bucks. It's going to take time. My biggest takeaway from this is it's going to take time for him to work his game legs back, right? He did. He was supposed to have time in the minors, and then the Providence Bruins games uh, get moved and so on and so forth. And he had a very solid first game against, albeit a a very free-falling Philadelphia Flyers team that I've done plenty of videos on on my channel about. Um, didn't have a good game at all, played poor against Carolina, uh, played good against Winnipeg, and then played poor against a good Ducks team, um, uh, um, against the Anaheim Ducks team in the last outing, which was on the 24th of January. I think it's to be expected, that's my takeaway from this, it's to be expected, even if you're a GOAT Hall of Fame goaltender, which uh, Tuka Rask is, you're one of the better goaltenders of the generation, and you played almost 600 games, and you have a career above 920 save percentage, 228 goals against, and what have you, and you're over the 300 wins. He's a Hall of Famer by no, by, by every stretch of the imagination, I mean. But the thing with anybody is when they have to come off a big injury and have to get their game legs back, it's going to take them a couple games to adjust. He's had two very solid games where he showed signs of being Took the Tuka Rass that everybody knows and loves in Boston. And then he's had games that he's still showing like any athlete that for the most part you gotta work your way back when you come back from damn injuries. And that's really my takeaway on Tuka Rass having two up and two down game since coming back. I believe Tuka Rass, this Boston Bruins team <clears throat> is obviously uh trending in the right direction. They're twenty four, thirteen and three, trending in the right direction is honestly an understatement. They've been beyond impressive this year. They're, they are 7-2-1 and one in their last 10. They're a team that uh, people thought was going to fall off, but uh, they're a team that have the Bergerons, the great leaders of the world, the Patrice Bergerons of the world, the uh, Brad Morshans of the world, and until those guys leave similar to, similarly to until Malkin and Crosby and Latang leave on Pittsburgh, I'm never counting those teams out. And they proved it again this year, and they brought in one of the best goaltenders in their franchise history if not the best in Tuka Rass that's going to the Hall of Fame after his career's over. It's just, it takes you a little bit to readjust to the league and, and also to get your legs under you when you just came back. Too good, too bad. I think he's going to be having way more good games going forward once he gets his legs fully back under him and adjust to the NHL level again since he's been out for a while. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I believe Tuk will have the Bruins in a good playoff position, as well as Linus Ulmar by the end of this season. Have a good um, rest of your day, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season. Peace out, everyone.